Despite the name, this is the fourth installment of the Crisis series. Prophet's back, in case once more in his nano suit, and using superhuman powers to tackle both the alien Seth and the private armies of Cell. Stealth is as heavily emphasized as outright action as you stalk through a heavily vegetated New York as the Big Apple is moulded into an urban rainforest. The adventure is roughly between 6 to 8 hours long. This might seem short, but it's packed with variation. You'll be sniping from skyscrapers, wading through dangerous swamps, and engaging in huge firefights in disused train stations. The single player campaign is also complemented by a hugely fun competitive multiplayer that's a big step up from what was offered during the second title. Another cell down. The first Crisis was by far the best looking game ever when it arrived. It couldn't even be played on most PC's maximum settings until years later. With Crisis 3, Crytek again attacks your PC with visuals that will melt your graphics card on ultra settings. Crisis 3 is by far the best looking game right now, and even matches what we've seen during the recent PS4 demos. Everything from faces to vegetation to water effects is absolutely top notch. Sadly, the console versions are an obvious downgrade when it comes to these visuals. Crytek has made a series of good decisions for Crisis 3, like removing sprinting from the armor abilities, meaning you're not entering engagements with energy depleted because of an enthusiastic dash into the center of the conflict. As a result, you use armor abilities a lot more during combat, and these can also be customized much easier than before. The bow also changes the gameplay. You always have it at your disposal, and there are many different arrowheads to choose from depending on how you want to play the game. Stealth has never been more enjoyable in an action game than in Crisis 3. You want to play I Show There's also plenty of other new weapons, with the Typhoon deserving a special mention. This, a rifle that fires around a thousand rounds per second. Yes, you did hear right, one thousand rounds per second. It really spreads death like nothing else and is incredibly fun to use. There are weaknesses in Crisis 3's otherwise adamantium frame. Vehicle control is problematic and there's one major boss fight that's really poor. Yet the multiplayer portion of Crisis 3 feels unexpectedly fresh. The arsenal may be smaller than many competitors but in return, the weapons are more varied and fun to use. Also, the stages are much more organic, leading to plenty of hiding places and immersion strategies on the move. All this, combined with a story that ends the trilogy satisfactorily and answers all lingering questions, Crisis 3 feels like Christmas all over again for fans of heavy, leaded action. The FPS genre doesn't come much more rounded than this. Forget waiting for the next generation of graphics to appear, they're here already. And for that, we can find Crytek. Prepare to have all your senses dazzled as a result. Bring this evil down. Once and for all.